Hello, welcome to Retro Cardio Ball. I'm Lee, and again we're looking at the 2.8 injection, but this time we're going to be looking at that other bit at the back. So, it does not look good. So let's get on with it. So this is the bit that we removed last time. So we're going to end up having to repair the initial floor, and then we're going to have to repair the chassis which is this piece here the actual chassis rail itself luckily only the front part's gone I've seen other people who have had to replace this entire piece and most people would say I'd have to replace it with it being this buckled but that would make everybody else's car the same then that's that's the part of this car's history that bit and all these little dints so I plan on keeping those so yeah, it's the actual floor of the car. In there, look. That's the inner floor piece. It's looking like it's going to be very difficult to even get in there. Yes, and you can see it's also coming out into the uh, wheel well. But yes, it doesn't look fun getting in there at all. So again, I think the best course action is to clean all this, all this area here up. The focus, yeah, this ledge here, look, all needs cleaning. See what's left of that. I'll we'll start with that, and uh, yeah, that's the panel we took off last time. That's hiding, like I said, in probably most people's capris. So I was just about to start cleaning the capri up. But as you can see, I've now had to uh, completely flip the car around, do a quick run to Halfords to get some more wire wheels, because uh, that one's pretty much dead now and it ain't touching anything. So I flip the car over, and that is the top side of where we were just working. Now the car completely tilted. This is this hole here is where the chassis rail for the rear is and this is what was underneath it and I had to chisel some of the soundproofing off which is useless anyway but uh, yeah that's where the is at the back and this is what it looks like from the top so I think the floor I'll repair from this side instead of trying to repair it from underneath so we'll roll her back over and we'll have a look what it looks like from the underside there Yeah, so rolling it over never gets any less scary. So yeah, so that floor was that piece in there. So I'm I'm hoping that I can repair it from the up from the top side because from the underside it's going to be very very difficult. Right, and so now I can actually get down to cleaning it, which is what I've tried to do before I had to run off and buy a load of wire wheels. There was no time lapse of the cleaning because it would have taken three hours of my life and three hours of your time away from you. But as you can see, it's pretty bad in there, so all this is going to need cutting out all this rust that hasn't cleaned up. 
We even cleaned in the wheel arch to find more death. There's more rot and evidence that it's been welded. Around about there. So now I've just masked off where welding is going to take place across here obviously where this floor piece is across this bottom because there's a section that needs going in but I need to protect all in all in there now so we're going to move over to the cure rust pour some into as you can see it's a cap of a spray because you do not want to put the brush in there because you put the brush in there on the rust and then it will transform all of your cure rust in the pot into rust protection straight away ruining it all so yeah you just want to put it in put it in a pot and then because it's all masked off you can just start painting it onto everything all this rust in here you want to protect because you know Ford didn't do anything with it they didn't care and obviously once this is in there and it sets you can go over it with whatever you choose you can just spray it directly with paint because you're going to seal it up anyway I'm going to uh, red oxide primer it like I do with most of the car anyway yeah that's the bit you can see so that's been sprayed first with some grey primer once it's been rubbed down and all those areas were finished and then just gone over with red oxide primer and then once the red oxide primer has been gone over with I would seam seal it but uh, I've not finished that area yet because it requires me to put this back into there. So yeah, so once this cure rust has done its thing, so will paint over this with the red oxide primer and then that can be sealed up for years to come. So I'll finish this off and then hopefully we can get into taking some of this crap out because there's a lot of deconstruction needs doing here, a lot. And I tell you now, I'm not looking forward to it at all. It's going to be some careful planning done here. Stuff's great. Look at that. Already turning purple. Protection at its finest. <whistles> right then, let's uh, crack on with this. Right then, so so far I've managed to remove that piece that was here and also damage the bit below but uh, we can fix that managed to remove that piece out the back and uh, take that super crusty bit out now Beard Canics Garage asked me what these little holes were for and as you can see we go all the way through so that would have been behind that panel there and it's for letting the water out of the sills there should have been one at the front oh no it is still there it is still one at the front just there there's one there because the sunroof that tube there, that's the vents for the uh, sunroof, so when the sunroof fills with water, 
it vents into the sills and then uh, as you drive along the water comes out of there but you'll notice that I had to do all of the work where obviously that vents to and now here just proving that it was an awful design so I'm going to see if I can chop some more out now and then we will return so I ended up flipping the car again so I can get to the top and that's uh, most of the floor cut out at the uh, angles of which I think I can pretty much recreate nice to see that they didn't paint under the floors until they put the sand deadening in but yeah just got to remove that crap in there now and then we'll look at uh, building the inner panel so basically that bit that swoops from the sill back to here so what is behind door number 12 That's right, I painted in there. And it's now finally dry. So basically I wanted to get so much more done in this piece here. But it just didn't happen because I got let down by the postal service. They lost a parcel that I ordered and it took them pretty much a week to find it again. So I want to thank uh, Michael McLeod who suggested that I should get a uh, power file which has now finally arrived because there's no way I could get into any of these little places here without it so yeah thanks dude well unfortunately I'm gonna have to leave it there so we'll be back with the uh, 2.8 pretty soon uh, thanks for watching remember to subscribe leave me a comment down below I'll get back to you and I shall see you in the next video